prayer. All right. Hello, everybody. Tuesday afternoon. Another productive day. We uh, got quite a bit more done on the plow. And uh, you can kind of see some of the framework there. I uh, got the main, the main part of the frame. Kind of hard to see it, but you can kind of see how it's braced and everything in there. And uh, this is where the these are the these angles here, pieces right there. What's what holds the coulters on? So I uh, now on a, the next step, I can start working on those because now I'll be able to to mount those on there. So and this piece here, this main piece here, had to be notched. Notched here, notched here, and bent because this went over this this frame piece. <clears throat> so this had to be notched and bent down, and then this one had to be notched and bent back up to meet this other part of the frame over here in the front. So I'm very happy how how that's going. And also, oops, let me show you another thing. I made the, what's called the trash boards, and. Uh, today and I even though the the toy doesn't have them they uh I like how they look on there so what I did is I took a piece of this card or poster board paper and I just I just kind of held it up there and kind of drew I kind of drew kind of how I would thought the the right size they would kind of be and so then I traced it on a piece of metal and then I cut it out and I put a little curve in it and so those those little trash boards will go kind of like this right here I haven't got the final bend the final bent bend in it yet to kind of see exactly where it'll go but I'll kind of give you a little bit of an idea kind of how them will go right I think about right like that so That'll make it even a little fancier. So there's <coughs> there's one, two, three, four, <coughs> five, and I took and clamped them, clamped them together and sanded them so they're all identical. So once they're uh, once they're bent up, they will all be exactly the same. So I like them. I like how they're going to fit on there, and once they're bent up, they'll look very cute. And, uh, so then, what I'm working on next is a little tricky. Let me turn the plow back around, because that's kind of where I'm at right now. It's getting a little bit heavy. <laughs> Every time you pick it up, you kind of like groan. Okay, so here's where I'm at right now. It's a little complicated. So, what I had to do was I had to build the the rear the rear axle pivot point where the so the rear wheel will turn side to side, and then I had to I had to work on, on this pivot point, two pivot points here where it goes up and down, and connects to the spindle right there, and then this arm. This arm has to go out for the linkage, and then this these two pieces here got to go forward, and they so they they hinge here, right there and there, then they hinge right here and here on that side, and then on this side, there's a triangle piece right here that goes back to another linkage, and that moves forward and back, and that makes this arm right here, when that goes back, that moves down. And that moves this up, and that's what raises and lowers the whole back wheel assembly to put the plow down on the ground. So there's quite a bit, there's quite a bit involved to it. So I got partway, I got a good start on it. So if you kind of look, you can kind of see, you can kind of see, uh, here's the main, here's the main linkage right here going back into that little, clevis and so that would be this piece right here going into the clevis you can see how long that linkage is that's that's how long it's going to be on the plow right there goes all the way 
almost to the front. So there's that linkage. And then this will go over on this side. So that linkage would be over there. And then the next piece, the next piece here that I've got, this is the one that here will, this, this will swivel. This will move this and that'll move that up and down. And so that's the piece that's going to raise and lower it with that linkage. So now I'll show you real quick. Let's see. Here's the here's the rear steering spindle. So that's the piece. That's the piece right there that curves back to the wheel. So the 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 rear wheel will hook onto this that shaft right there, the spindle. And then here's the top the top arm right there that moves when you steer it. And that's this piece. And then that this hooks to these two pieces here going across, which is the this right here. So you can kind of get a little bit of an idea how because I've got I've got a little bit enough done to where you can kind of see how it's gonna work. So so when this linkage is moved, that pushes this down and that pushes the, the, the rear wheel up. And so when the linkage goes the other way, it pushes the wheel down and then that lifts the plow out of the ground. So now, and you, if you if you turn, then the other link there's another linkage that goes to this thing right here from the front. And when that linkage moves, when that linkage moves, that moves the the rear wheel. The, 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 it steers the rear wheel right there. So that will that's what will steer the rear wheel. So that goes. I'm still a little bit confused. <laughs> I'm still a little confused. Until, unless I, until I see it done, it's a little confusing to me just to kind of see exactly how I'm going to do it all. But you can see I've got a pretty good start where the, the, the pivot point here goes up and down. And then there's the, this pivot where it steers. So the next step is it has to get this. I haven't made the second pivot point yet right there. So that's that will go on. That'll go on there, and then I got to build this whole bracket right here that goes on the frame, and that holds that holds all this. See, it's a little, I'm a little, it's conf, it's a little bit confusing for me to see it yet, but once I make these brackets, then I understand, then I understand how they work. But uh, until I I get going, it's a little bit confusing. So. So anyway, I just kind of wanted to show you what I'm doing and you get an idea that I, how I'm trying to keep it close to how the real plow works. So we got the, got the trash boards done or made. So tomorrow, tomorrow what I'll do is I'll keep working on the rear steering. And then I might, I told you that a few days ago I was going to maybe make the first coulter, but I didn't have no place to, there's no place to even put them. So... I, I figured that yeah, there's no sense in doing that. So, so tomorrow I'll either start, I'll make maybe one of these, one of these assemblies right here, or I'll swing around and I'll start working on this front steering system. So that gets a big, that gets a big spindle in the, in the front right there, um, vertically. And then that goes to a linkage right here. And then that goes to the, that goes to the middle. And then that's what goes back to the back that, that steers it so I uh, I think I got it all figured out it just it's a little confusing but I think it's all there it's, it's a, the basic start of it is all there so everything should fit really good so I uh, I'm very happy with how it's looking so so that's the progress today um, the weather's been super cold uh, below below zero wind chill so I'm not even monkeying with the painting this this week so I was gonna put another coat of paint on but it's too cold and let's see what's happening uh, with the missus anything <laughs> anything happening what's for supper anything no nope. you didn't make nothing for nope. supper did we thaw a roast out well that was for tomorrow tomorrow for roast yeah crock pot yeah okay so what else thanks everybody again for all the nice comments and uh We'll, uh, happy how it's going. 
So tomorrow night, if everything goes good, this this rear assembly could be all tacked on. So that's very cool. So thanks again, everybody. We'll uh, see you tomorrow night. Have a great night.